What's up guys, this is Albie T from Combat Culture and this past summer we had the opportunity to work remotely. So we decided to train in Amsterdam, the home of Dutch kickboxing. Check out this video to find out why. First question is, why did we decide to go to Amsterdam? The answer is because aside from the fact that it's the home of Dutch kickboxing, it's also in an English speaking city. Right, so it was easier to get around. And there's also a lot to see and do there. So those were all factors we had considered when we decided to go to Amsterdam. So how do we choose a gym? Uh, there were three factors that we were looking at. The first one was a gym that was commutable. The second was a gym that was accepting international travelers such as ourselves. And the last one was a gym that had a schedule that aligned with ours. We still had to work East Coast hours, American hours. And we ultimately decided to go with Major Gym because of those three factors, right? And also because Major Gym does have a very rich history with Dutch kickboxing. So the next question is, Dutch kickboxing different from Muay Thai? The answer is yes. While there are similarities with Muay Thai, Dutch kickboxing is its own form of martial arts with its own approach and culture. And there were actually some Dutch kickboxers that pivoted over very successfully to Muay Thai. Two names that comes to mind is Ramon Deckers and Rob Common. And specifically referring to Majuro Gym, it's got much more of a dojo feel. The environment is much more akin to something you would see at a karate dojo as opposed to a Muay Thai or Western boxing gym. You, I mean, just like I said, you refer to the facility as a dojo rather than a gym. You refer to the coach as a sensei rather than crew or jorn. Um, and you acknowledge, you know, said sensei or also, you know, some of your peers with oos. And classes are done either on the bag or drilling with partners. It's a very active and rhythmic uh, form of martial arts. Uh, sparring in general is dialed up a bit, you know, to really condition the body and also simulate a real life competitive fighting condition. Just because, you know, Dutch kickboxers in general do not fight as often as, you know, some of their Muay Thai counterparts. Our classes taught in English or Dutch. From our experience, at least, most of the classes there were taught in English. Now, what the instructors at the gym that we went to, Majero specifically, would do is they would ask the class if anybody spoke English and if there was an English speaker in the class then they would conduct you know the class in English because Amsterdam has a very very high percentage of its population that speaks English now on occasion they'll throw in some Dutch but you know if your concern is that oh man I only speak English fear not you're in good hands so the next topic is getting around and um, if you know anything about Amsterdam or the Netherlands in general it is probably one of the highest capitals of uh, bike riding commuters right um, essentially there's probably more bikes than there are people from what i've been told uh, the infrastructure of the city itself was built with you know bicyclists in mind right and you'll see that right away right when you get to the city so and also just to get the true dutch experience i highly recommend you know renting a bike just to see the city it's an amazing amazing city very very beautiful but what i will say is definitely use common sense depending on where you're visiting from because bikes are used as one of the primary forms of transportation um, you are sharing the road with a other bicyclists people on motorcycles and most importantly cars funny story i guess it's funny now but during my i think it was like the first week there i actually got an accident where i got hit by a garbage truck with that said i was a little bit banged up but again use your common sense and i'd also recommend using public transportation the mta and trams are super reliable and super clean if you are going to go that route i highly recommend getting yourself a public transport card um, i think they're called the ov chip cart or get yourself a public transport pass so the last part i'll cover are what are some things to do in amsterdam aside from the training itself and I gotta tell you, there are a ton of things to do. The first thing I'll say is that most places accept credit cards, right? So as long as you have a credit card that you can use internationally, you should be okay. Although I would recommend carrying some euros on you. Um, I think specifically Albert Heinz, it's one of the bigger grocery stores, accepts only euros. And if you wanna do some gear shopping, there's Fight Shop in Amsterdam and there's also Peter Jans. 
Um, I actually bought a good amount of gear, did a bit of damage at Peter Yan's. Matter of fact, we'll be coming out with a gear review video of European brands very shortly. So different foods to try. Uh, the first thing at the top of my list would be a bitter ballen. It's uh, also known as a Dutch meatball. It's really good. I've only had it in Amsterdam. Um, Amsterdam cheese. They're known for their cheese. So if you're not lactose, give that a try. Um, Stroop waffles. Stroop waffles are amazing. I love Stroop waffles. Very, very good. And the last thing is if you have the stomach for it and you're not worried about it, herrings. Herrings is unique, I believe, to the Amsterdam. So those are a couple of things I would try, but food in general in Amsterdam, pretty good. So some additional things I'd recommend doing is the canal tour. Uh, if you didn't know, there are tons and tons of canals in Amsterdam. The ingenuity really, really is impressive. So if you're into that type of thing, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Um, the Anne Frank house is um, definitely something worth checking out if you're out that way. There's the Heineken tour. If you're a fan of the Heineken beer brand, there is a very, very cool tour there. Interactive and you do get a tasting at the very end if you're wondering. Um, and Tony's Chocolate Factory. If you like chocolate, definitely recommend Tony's Chocolate Factory. So those are some of the things I want to touch on, you know, about our time training in Amsterdam. It was an incredible experience, you know, all the connections and friends we made. Having the opportunity to have trained in the one of the birthplaces of Dutch kickboxing, really immersing ourselves and also having an opportunity to explore a very cultural rich city. If anybody that's watching has an opportunity or has a bit of interest in Dutch kickboxing or Dutch culture in general, we definitely, definitely recommend it. With that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We do have more videos coming out. Matter of fact, we have some other follow-up videos about our time training in Thailand. So keep an eye out for that. Until then, everybody, please keep training, stay healthy, and be safe.